Hello YouTube, I'm Jack Clark, the Eagle Musketeer, here, coming to you with an update of sorts. Before I go any further, just want to um, say thank you to Casper050 and Dueling Bunnies for giving me shoutouts in their latest videos. Casper050 is a good friend of mine, he's a teammate in fact, uh, of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Musketeers, that's where I got my channel name from. And he gave me a shout out in his latest video, and in that video actually, he mentioned that we were going to have a team channel at some point. I'm like, what? Oh, okay, cool. So. I don't know what's going to happen, um, more information when a team channel may come out and stuff, When I, more information when I have it basically, but I basically, it will probably be just me, Tunwolf and Castle for 050 posting comment on this, posting content on the channel, we're just randomers, so I guess YCS Sprite and stuff, and our exploits as a team, so yes, more information on that in future videos. And of course, Dorling Bunnies who also gave me a shout out in their videos, and it's really nice because I know Calcifer, and I when I first said that I was going to do a YouTube video, a YouTube channel even, um, he said, oh, I'll give you a shout out on my channel. And I was like, oh, thank you. And he's my friend. I, I, I It's not that I, I kind of, exp I kind of expect that kind of treatment from friends. But then we've got the Dooley Monies, who I don't even know these people. And they liked my videos, or video, they, they specifically said they liked my tour guide video. So they liked my videos enough to make a video promoting me, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And yes, Calcifer and Dooling Bunnies, thank you so much for the shoutouts, I really appreciate it. And as my gift to you, if the people watching this video want to, you know, go over to their channels and, you know, watch their videos, like them maybe if you do favorite them if you like them that much, or subscribe to them if you want to see more of their content, then there'll be links in the underbar below, you know, if you want to, of course. But yes, more updates and such. Tomorrow I will be going to Brighton Locals, um, I, I say Brighton Locals, it's not very local to me, but I'm going to the Brighton Tournament. Um, if you're going to the Brighton Tournament, send me a comment down below and say hi and, and, and give me your emissaries from Pandemonium, I'm trying to collect these bad boys. Yeah. So, yeah, say hi if you're going to um, there, and I may get some videos out tomorrow, specifically at the tournament, so it may be loud, I may do deck profiles, I may do player interviews, I don't know, I'll, I'll see what I can do tomorrow, because, well, there'll be new Yu-Gi-Oh players, and I'll be in a better place to do better content, so look out for that tomorrow. What else is there? I was going to do a video on Hidden Arsenal 5 uh, Steel Swarm Invasion. Everyone else was doing, every else's channel was doing them, and although some of them were crap, and some of them were good, and I was like, I I I've, missed, I've missed the surge, and to be fair, I couldn't be asked. I mean, I did have this huge 10 minute video planned out, in which I was going to talk about, oh, this is very good, Larvel this, and Gishki that, but it was just long drawn out and random. So I'm just going to give you my brief synopsis of Hidden Arsenal 5, in my opinion. Now, it comes out on the 6th of December, so it's the 3rd now, so three days. Ah, oh, fantastic. Relatively soon. So, basically, there are six new archetypes, not continuing on any of the previous Hidden Arsenal archetypes. I don't think the set is going to do as well as the previous ones, simply because, obviously, it doesn't have those archetypes to fall back on, but also, most importantly, it doesn't have a money card to sell the set. The people, the reasons why, like, Tushula's Triumph did so good is because it had Tushula. People wanted Tushula. It was a staple, and it is still a staple in many people's extra decks. And I, it, this in Arsenal 5 doesn't have that card. It doesn't have a card that will make people want to buy boxes upon boxes upon boxes of it to just simply get a single copy of it. It doesn't have that. But if you're interested in, in making any of the six archetypes, the new archetypes that they introduce, which I greatly, uh, I, you really should because Hidden Arsenal Archetypes, I always, I always like them because because they're meant for the dual terminal, the dual terminal um, arcade machines, they're all very self-contained and they're very good at what they do. So even though some of them are better than each other, questionably, they're all very good archetypes in their own right. Um, I'm really looking forward to building my own Vylon deck. I'm so excited because I've always been a big fan of Counter Fairies and the whole kind of synthetic Seraphim aesthetic. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. So yes, in the comments down below, actually, from Hidden Arsenal 5, there are six new archetypes coming out. There are the Violon Steel Swarm, Gishki, Larvel, Gem Knight, and Gusto. So tell me, from those six archetypes, which is your most excited to be getting into the TCG? So post those down in the comments down below. And yes, I will hopefully, actually, if you're interested, post down below. I really like Vylon. I've made a Vylon deck on Dueling Network, and I've used it on occasion. 
Um, but if you'd like to see maybe a deck profile on Vylons, because not many people like them and they think they're the worst of the lot, and I kind of disagree. But if you're interested in the Vylons uh, as much as I am, I may do a deck profile, but comment down below if you'd actually be interested in seeing something like that. But yes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else. Um, I may... Stuff for future, I've been thinking, of course, I was going to do a card advantage video in future. More stuff tomorrow, in which I will be hopefully doing some uh, film from the Brighton locals. Maybe deck profiles of people there. Or just how I do and pulls from deck, from um, card packs and such. I will most definitely get some card packs filmed for my channel as well. I want to get a few of those on here. So, yes. Also, I was thinking of doing the story of the dual terminal world. Because the dual terminal, I love it so much. Because it's an overarching story that is told through the cards. But... A while ago, Konami released in Japan a like a pamphlet kind of thing, which told you the actual story of the dual terminal worlds and all the archetypes and how they kind of link together. Because you could always see in the cards that they were connected, and you could see like references from each other's archetypes in the card art. And it always so interesting. So I'm thinking of doing like an epic kind of like you see like your Yu-Gi-Oh channel doing like this watch the story of Warrior Digrepha or Gagagigo or those kind of ones, and be interested would you be interested in me doing a whole epic story of the dual terminal world in a video or a couple of videos because it's a big story um post those down in the comments down below as well uh, i'm going to end this video by saying the tongue twister everyone knows that it's hilarious when people try to say gagagi go gagagi go being what that monster i can't remember there's, there's a really random awkward yugo card so there's gagagi go gagagi go goggy gagagi go yeah? Fantastic. If you get double points if you post in the video response, you doing the tongue twister. Tongue twister is gagagigo, gigagagigo, gogigagagigo, gigagagagigo, gogigagagigo, gogigagagigo, gogigagagigo. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm devouring and procrastinating. But yes, I'm Jack Clark, the Eagle Musketeer. More videos out to you soon, hopefully tomorrow, and more for the future. Click on the annotation at the top left of the screen to be taken to one of my previous videos, and one on the top right to be taken to a future video. And if there isn't one on the top right, then just hold your horses, there will be one there soon. I can really do that bit really quite fast. Wow. But yeah, I'm Jack Clark, the Eagle Musketeer. Goodbye.